All right, a couple of the Zacks yesterday. One let us down, the other did not. The K prop came through, and on the other side, the stolen base prop. Not so much, but I'm happy with our position by all means. I'm happy that you can be here. So if you can hit the thumbs up button, that would be lovely. And also, you get the fingers ready to go here. You want to check out home runs? Don't worry. I got a video for you to look at as I'll give you the top two home run plays of the day. So let's look at what we have today it's day one for me here in philadelphia so i'm a, a little excited you know we got rained out on thursday a lot of you out there got to enjoy opening day baseball i did not i had to wait a day and it's frustrating trust me we're going to philadelphia game one and it's not going to be good for my people i can tell you that here in philadelphia because it's day one of the season and while the braves certainly can't solve the phillies in the postseason regular season, start of the season. This is where the Braves are significantly better. And unfortunately, the Phillies just start slow. They start really slow. And Zach Wheeler's on the hill, which is great for the Phillies. He got paid. I love it. But also, look, Spencer Strider. And he said, oh, I don't like Philadelphia. I don't like pitching here, all the other things. He's 7-0 and as a starter, 8-0 overall. His ERA is impeccable. It truly is just bulletproof against the Philadelphia Phillies. So I'm not going to bite and jump in and just say, well, the Phillies are at home. Yeah, there's home field advantage, but the Braves are the better baseball team. The Braves have the better, I can't believe, and I hate to say it, but this matchup, the Braves have the better starting pitcher. And I don't even think it's close at this point. Philly's bullpen is definitely revamped. It's better. They have a back end. They have a closer. I like where the Phillies are. They will challenge the Braves overall, but game one, no. No, no. So thanks to Odd Shopper, you're able to bounce around and kind of see some of these prices here. If you want to jump in, that's fantastic. 20% off my code, Shander. You can use that. That would be amazing. And as you'll see, you'll get access to everything. It's not just the expert picks it's not just the discord the ev bets or the parlay builder it's all of that so play number one the atlanta braves on the money line just win baby that's that's all we're looking at just win all right i'm building this on fanduel and i thought all right well let me just look and see what odd shopper has for us on fanduel that jumps out and it's martin perez and you look at perez the strikeouts under three and a half at plus 130. A, it dominates the true odds of plus 119. But look at the books. Every other book is at minus, minus 2%, minus 7%, meaning every other book is offering a number that's less than FanDuel and less than our true odds. When you have that one two combination, it's a good bet. You're betting it at FanDuel, it's a good bet. This is just step one to becoming a profitable better. I mean, you could bet this at even money at the Fanatics. You could bet this at uh, plus 102 at Bet Rivers. But look at the difference in what you're getting here as far as the price is concerned. It's wrong. Fandle's just hanging a bad number. So we take advantage of that with Perez against Miami. And look, everybody's going to focus on the injuries for the Marlins as far as the pitching staff is concerned. Overlook, I think, what they're able to do at least at the plate. And I don't think Perez is built for this game long. We know that he's out there to eat up a couple of innings and we'll see if he even is able to, because this is not going to be a dominant Pittsburgh team. And they're probably going to be behind earlier in this game. And that means a quick yank for our starting pitcher here for the Pittsburgh pirates. So under three and a half at plus plus one thirty, And again, we're just getting a fantastic price this is what it looks like. Braves on the money line. And then you go down to Perez under three and a half. And we get plus 292. Plus 292. That's your two leg parlay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mentioned, you know, you want to jump in. Hey, great. Here's Nick's play. Or here's Nick. Here's Greg's play with Nick Richards under nine and a half. Minus 115. I just gave you something for free. Because for free, the least you could do is indulge me and sign up and say, oh, yeah, you know what? All right, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. There's the parlay. Braves minus 130. Perez under three and a half Ks plus 122. Appreciate you all rolling with us once again. 
You want to get in, bet 365 is below. You can bet it there too. Your first bet, five bucks on the parlay. You're going to get 150 back no matter what. So take advantage of that and let's have a day.